to me. That guy, mm -hmm. game changer. Yeah. And you've been around a lot of them. You've broadcast against uh, and with a lot of people that do impact that. He just has that energy and the aura that I think can warrant that phrase. This is off the pitcher again, slowly out towards Van Meter. His throw will be just in time, and taking third is Tatis. You never know what you're going to see with him. A ground ball that ends up off the pitcher to second base turns into two bases for Tatis, who gets to third. No matter what, he just loves playing the game. And I, I say that because we get to watch him on an everyday basis. Yeah. It's fun to see people that are playing the game that way. Chano gets jammed and pops it up left side. Van Meter, the second baseman, is out there. Bit of an adventure, makes the catch. Here comes Tatis, going to try and score, and he will. That's exciting because Fernando Tatis Jr. is exciting. Sack fly to short left, and he scores. Oh, yeah. Don, I, I, right when the ball was up, I thought Pittsburgh Pirates. We've seen this before. If you're a Padre fan, you go back to that. So what Tatis is doing, he gets back and he's tagging. Now you're watching how does that fielder field the ball. Van Meter, it takes him towards center field in that little window of opportunity, and Fernando Tatis Jr. is scoring that first run for the Padres and tying this ball game up. You look at that whole sequence. He takes third on a ground ball to second base and scores on a pop-up yeah. back and short. And wow. the funny thing is he's DHing, right? Wow. I mean, we're we're watching a young man that knows how to play the game, has been sitting out and doesn't feel good. Yesterday he does it with the power. Today, early in this ballgame, he's done it with his legs. He's taken over the game here in the first inning.